Hey guys, in my last project, I ran into a little disagreement with my colleagues about how to handle dependencies and supply of software in a Docker file. Let me demonstrate you to you the issue. So exhibit one is a Docker file, which I thought sucked. Why? Because you are basically downloading, you know, locked releases. And, uh, you know, there's got to be a better way of doing that. You know, it's like five lines to install something there. Uh, of course, the, um, I don't know, over time, the upstream could just remove that release because it's just too old, right? Um, there's, there's no real way of keeping up to date with, with upstream releases. So I refactored it to exhibit two. So as you can see here, I just pull the, instead of the curling and all that stuff, I just pull the binary straight out of the upstream Docker image and I put it there. Now when this Docker image is built, it becomes a certain tag and that tag goes into our systems, right? So it's locked to that tag. So whatever ends up, you know, whatever Terraform ends up in that particular tag thing, that's where it's locked, right? It's not perhaps locked here, but it's locked on the build and the tested tag that gets deployed, right? This is where the disagreement happened with, between my colleagues. They said, no, 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 that's not, not, that's not cool. That's not cool. You need to name the tags of the, um, the Docker images that you're using so that we can lock it. And I, and I was like, no, 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 no. We're locking it when we build it. It's better if we lock it when we build it. Because, if, because what inevitably happens here is that developers are too afraid to ever update you know, V2.9 or 1.15 there or 1.29, they'll never update it. So, you know, months, uh, years go down the line and you, you, you wonder, how, you run into these really difficult problems when you have to update things all in one big step instead of like sort of incrementally using upstream stable releases. I really hope you agree with me. If you do, give the video a like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting all YouTube here. No, no, no. Honestly, just, just comment below how wrong I am or how right I am or is there something in the middle that we're, you know, not really reaching here. So, yeah, I thought I'd share that story with you and get your feedback on it. Thanks, guys. Bye.